Welcome back. As part of our Creme 2 Boomtown Week, we're telling you all about the growth that's happening in our area. Tonight, we're taking a look at the impacts of growth on, on our ongoing homelessness crisis. Local agencies have been working together to re-engage people who have been out of the workforce and get them jobs. Tonight, Creme 2's Janelle Finch joins us live in the studio to share just one of the many stories of transformation that's happening right here in our community. It's been four months since the homeless encampment off I-90 officially closed. Since then, former campers have moved into shelters and more permanent housing. With a roof over their heads and opportunities in front of them, some of them are even ready to get back to work. Matthew Lawson is proving you're never too old to keep learning. For him, the opportunity alone is a blessing. Well, I'm 48 years old, so going back to school is pretty awesome. <laughs> I'm super blessed. There was a time in his life where Lawson says being back in a classroom didn't seem within reach. That was during the 16 months he and his son lived at the homeless encampment known as Camp Hope. I was in actually a, a number of tents. I had a tent burned down. It was, it was tough, but the Lord took care of me. Lawson says he relied on his faith to guide him through living at the camp. The Lord told me to sit and stay, and uh, I did, and, and I knew that there was a blessing. There was something there at, at the end of all of that. <laughs> Do you think living at Catalyst and going through the program that you are, is that fruition of that blessing? Absolutely. Absolutely. I love it here. He says his son is working through his own journey at Teen Challenge, an addiction recovery discipleship program. Lawson's been living at Catholic Charities Catalyst Project and is in a program where he takes skilled trade classes with Community Colleges of Spokane. The program is a partnership between the nonprofit, local college, and Western Washington consulting firm I2 Strategies. Program lead Sarah Reed says the goal is to get people who are experiencing homelessness back into the workforce. We kind of brainstormed some ideas and came up with this EPP program to help them learn essential skills to help them get a job. She says participants spend three weeks in the Employment Preparation Program, or EPP. They learn how to build a resume, how to use a computer, communication skills, conflict skills, um, how to show up to an interview, how to show up to a job site. Lawson is one of five people who lived at Camp Hope who graduated from the first stage of the program. Catholic Charities Chief Stabilization Officer Don Kinder says the Catalyst mission has always been to inspire transformation. That we've got folks graduating from training, gaining jobs, keeping those jobs. That's why these programs are so important. That's why projects like Catalyst and partnerships like these with the community colleges and I2 are invaluable to the community. After EPP, participants move into the 11-week pre-apprenticeship program for hands-on construction work. Skid steer, mini X, and heavy forklift. We were operating, testing actually on all three of those pieces of equipment. Lawson still has several weeks of his pre-apprenticeship classes, but is already planning for the future. I was thinking about going to work for the city of Spokane or uh, the laborers union. Whatever they have on, you know, for work. I'm, available and ready. <laughs> These are 14 students set to graduate Wednesday from the next training class. Some of those students also previously lived at Camp Hope and are looking to get back into the workforce. Like Lawson, they will hopefully be ready to re-engage in society soon and continue to build a better, more stable life. In the studio, Janelle Finch.